Hello everyone, this is Rhonda Four of Virtue Works For You Creative and VirtueWorksForYou.com Helping stay at home moms and women grow businesses, get quality leads and sales with visual content marketing and social media on head to schedules with ease and with maximum productivity. And today's videos is about Pinterest analytics and metrics updates 2021. Okay. And so this, this video is going to be an overview of what's happening as far as Pinterest analytics and metrics. And so, um, I've been watching and observing uh, Pinterest changes, analytics, and metrics in the last several months. It started around fall, maybe before then, because I noticed around that time last fall, that's when a lot of people started complaining about a nose dive in their page views on Pinterest and their organic website. Uh, traffic and what a lot of people are doing is you know worrying in a panic about you know what the hell is Pinterest doing uh, you know I mean and also if Pinterest keeps going this way I am going to just give up and quit Pinterest and find some other platform and I wrote a social media post yesterday in which I was talk, saying how, okay, instead of um, people getting worried and disappointed or panicking over their nosedive in page views and website traffic, what they're going to have to do is adapt and change strategy okay uh when these social media sites and all these search engines like pinterest you know update their analytics and metrics and you notice that because you're going to notice it if you're on there and you um are posting content you're going to notice those changes and Quitting, worrying, panicking is not going to solve the problem. It's going to take us to individually to figure out, okay, go to their site, read the, uh, about the analytics and metrics updates, and adapt and change your strategy accordingly, okay? And unfortunately, a lot of the people that, have found great success in their business on Pinterest, uh, forgot about that. You know, platforms change, uh, search engines change. So you're going to have to change and adapt with it, and which includes changing your strategy. And so I'm going to talk a little bit about the Pinterest analytics and metrics updates for 2021. And the good part about it, they letting us know that there are changes, you know, they're not leaving us in the dark. They're, they're writing articles uh, for it. And this is particularly about Pinterest, Pinterest on their business blog. They're telling us about these changes and what to look for. It's just up to us to go read and from there, adapt and change your strategies <laughs> in a way to get our um, pay shoes back up. So like I said earlier, I've been watching these changes and like so many other people, some people's accounts wasn't affected, but a lot of people's words, mine was affected. I saw nosedive in my Pinterest page views and organic website traffic. And I just say, you know, I'm going to watch and observe and um, if Pinterest post up a um, blog about what they are doing uh, and the specific changes they're making, I'm going to go and read up on that and I'm going to change accordingly. So, like I said, what I did personally is 
I changed my strategy and then I saw that my page views and my website traffic began to go up again. Okay. And uh, it, even more so than before. So, uh, you know, it's not going to do you any good to worry, panic, uh, be disappointed and just quit the platform altogether. <laughs> you have to read, observe, uh, keep up with the trends and the updates and just problem solve, <laughs> you know? And so, I'm going to switch over here to Pinterest page. So this is a article that Pinterest released uh, this month, January 2021 metrics updates. And this is a lot to unpack. I will be doing other videos um, in which I'm, uh, you know, going a little bit more detail about these changes. But so they are right right here in this section here a review of paid and organic metric unification so you have to understand what they are changing and they said here metrics play an important role in helping determine which content resonates with people on pinterest to empower content creators to better understand how their audiences are interacting with their pins we're introducing new metrics and renaming and redefining some existing metrics at a high level, we are updating our metrics, changing the default metrics in Business Hub and the Analytics pages. Okay, so what they're doing is, one thing they're doing is um, renaming and redefining what some of these metrics means. Uh, and for example, I'm going to go with this um, grid here, like for organic uh, format, the behavior, for example, if you click on the the visit tab and that visit tab leads to the website that the pin is associated with right they're no longer calling it a link click they're calling it an outbound click which makes sense because if you're on pinterest and people always link their pins to some type of content where that content is a blog post a youtube video a landing page uh you name it that is when you click on that visit tab it's an outbound click okay it is before it was a link click but now they're calling it an outbound click so that's that's one of uh, an example one of the changes they are making it on pinch excuse and when i said you click on the visit link they have these three dots under the pin description on the lower right hand side you click on those three dots and it has visit website edit pin copy link uh whichever you want to do and if you want to visit the website to uh get more information about that content you click on visit website okay so they're not calling it an outbound click rather than a link click okay and this is for organic pins we're re and they has it here we're renaming link clicks for organic pins to outbound clicks to create consistency of metrics naming across paid and organic experiences on pinterest outbound clicks will represent the number of clicks to your destination okay so like i said your pins Pins are sort of where you want someone to go to another destination outside of Pinterest. That is what that the pin is associated with. Okay. Whether it's a YouTube video or blog. Okay. Okay, so it says we're changing the default metrics. This is another example in your business hub and analytics pages in January 2021 to show the performance of pins you created. So this includes any pins you publish plus any pins saved from your claim domains. We've made this change so that you can understand which content drives follows traffic and conversions. The performance of content that you say to your account will still be available by selecting include saved pins in your analytics graph filters. Okay. 
So they want it. That means they want to give us a more in depth. Uh, a deeper level of understanding of how to, you know, easily read our metrics, right? In the analytics and business hub. Because now if you are um, on Pinterest for business, you should have a business account, not a personal account, uh, where you can track your analytics and metrics and see how your pins are performing, Okay, and another change they're making is like for your organic pins, right? When, when a person clicks on your pin, not the destination, the web, not the destination and or the website URL, uh, when a person just want to get a close-up view on your pin, they like zoom in before they call it a close-up. Now they are going to uh, rename it as a pin click. And so that will be included in people in pin clicks. Okay. So organic click into the pin from the grid before it was called a close up. Now they're redefining it to a pin click. Okay. All right. So, um, yeah, so that's just a few of the changes. Like I said, I placed this article down in the description box so that you all can read it. And I'm going to do more videos about uh, 2021 metrics updates um, because this, like I said, this is a lot to unpack and. You know, I think it deserves more than one video. But yeah, so um, that's it for this video. And just um, stay posted for other videos just like it. Um, this video will be added to my Pin to Proficiency, pre proficiency <laughs> playlist in which I discuss all things Pinterest marketing and um if you love this video, please like it, share it with anyone you think can benefit for or benefit from it or anyone who wants to learn Pinterest. And if you love the content on this channel, please subscribe and click the notification bell symbol to get alerts when I upload new content. And uh, you all have a great day. Monday, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.